The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree. But they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. Meridian doesn't mean done. Cat are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. We need to keep influence centralized for now. That means Reka. The Pathfinder title should open a few doors. She's my choice. You see? That wasn't so hard. Sense rules on Meridian's opening day. Shove it, number eight. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. A toast to the... I can't believe you picked a Solarian for ambassador. Really thought you had more sense than that, Ryder. Guess I'll stick around, but at this rate, who knows for how long. Ryder, I hear I have you to blame for me being named interim ambassador to Helios. To blame? <laughs> Tam thinks he can influence me in the role, but I'm used to dealing with bureaucrats. With the Archon defeated and the Initiative's dream beginning to take root, well, I'm just happy to be here. Let yourself feel that. We all have cause for celebration. Alec would be proud. His dream lives on in you, and thrives. Nice talking with you, Reka.
How are things going with Art Porchero? Ryder, I appreciate your good sense in backing Reika as ambassador. You mean a Solarian, right? Well, the thought had not even occurred to me. Did you have some other business? What do you want, Ryder? Shouldn't you be on Tan's lap or something? Is this about my choice for ambassador? You mean Tan's choice? I'm sorry. This isn't bad or even complicating for the initiative. It's just... more. So, what can I do for you? Director Addison? Pathfinder. I'm worried about this place. If After all Drac did for you, you pick a Salarian ambassador and show us what you really think of the Krogan. Not sure we have much more to say to each other. Try not to die out there. Not sure we have much more to say to each other. Try not to die out there. <laughs>